In this section, we are going to discuss a very interesting problem. It's based on counting principles or counting method. Hope you all are well aware about the basic counting type problems. It's called world chess problems. So the world famous chess problems, it's simply we are counting what's the total number of squares on a chessboard. So it's very simple. We may consider the actual counting in our usual counting way, the number of squares on a chessboard, it's simply 64. But you have to key in this concepts clearly. At that end, you have to count it properly. Just understand the question clearly. A question, what's the maximum possible number of squares on a chessboard? Yeah, we know that if you are counting the identical squares on a chessboard, there are 64 small squares. But we know that the entire chessboard itself is another one square. If you are clubbing four adjacent squares, that will make another one square in a two by two dimension. Like there are different dimensions there. There are one by one squares, two by two squares, three by three, and so on, up to eight by eight. That's the chessboard itself. Here we are going to find what's the total number of maximum possible number of squares on a chessboard. I'm using the method of induction for developing this counting. So there are lots of different methods, but now we are considering an interesting and easy induction for. So we just consider a small identical square. So this is a one by one square. Or the dimension of the square is one unit length and one unit breadth. So you just think about how many squares in this diagram. By observation, it's very easily we can conclude there is exactly one square. So the number of squares here, it is one. So the next part, we are considering the second dimension. So we are considering a two by two grid. So this is a one by one grid. Similarly, this is a two by two grid. Now we are starting counting over here. Here we can easily identify two different dimensions. Suppose we just consider this entire big square. Its dimension is two by two. Such two by two squares, how many over here? There are exactly one two by two square. Plus, we are moving to the next dimension. All this small identical squares. Here the second dimension is one by one squares. By observation, here we can easily count there are exactly four one by one squares. So therefore, that's equal to four one by one square. And we are moving to the next diagram. That is a three by three grid. Here, in this three by three grid. Now, we just observe what's the different dimensions over here. If you're considering this entire big square, its dimension is three by three. And you can easily identify or recognize the presence of two by two squares over here. And finally, there are some one by one squares also. We are starting from the largest dimension. Because we are considering the largest possible dimension over here, that's equal to three by three. How many is three by three squares over here? It's very easily we can conclude. There is exactly one three by three square. That's the entire diagram itself. So there are exactly one three by three squares. Now move to the next dimension. We are counting two by two squares. Here we can easily identify how many two by two squares over here. So these four adjacent squares will make, small identical squares will make one two by two square. Similarly, here is the second two by two square, and here the third two by two square, and finally this is the fourth two by two square. So don't be confused in these concepts here. We know that these regions sometimes it may be overlapping. It's not a complicated concept here. We just consider the possible number of all the two by two squares. So that way we can count these portions independently. That means this is first two by two square, second two by two square, third two by two square, and the last fourth two by two square. We got there are four such two by two squares. Now move to the least dimensional squares, or the small dimensional squares. And the third possibility, that is one by one squares. So easily we can count how many distinct one by one squares over here. There are exactly nine one by one squares. So that's equal to nine. 
we don't want to go for further diagrams while observing this pattern if it is a one by one grid there is exactly one square if it is a two by two grid there the number of squares are one plus four similarly in a three by three grid the number of squares is one plus four plus nine can you guess which will be the extension immediately next ex extension or if you are considering the 4 by 4 grid so the number of squares will become 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus next value is 16 so like that if it is 4 by 4 the number of squares is 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16 instead if you are considering a 5 by 5 square grid you can easily identify the number of or easily count the number of squares over there that is 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16 plus 25 and so on so by observing this series this is simply the sum of natural squares this is 1 square while considering this pattern this is 1 square plus 2 square in this diagram this is 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square similarly we are extending this concept to the entire chessboard that's an 8 by 8 square grid by applying the same counting principles the total number of all possible squares on a chessboard or 8 by 8 square grid has nothing but here 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus etc up to 8 square that is 1 square 2 square 3 square 4 square etc up to 8 square how we can find out the sum of these all squares it's a quite manageable range here we know that we can individually write all the square values here up to 8 square then we can find what will be the sum or otherwise you can apply the summation results for finding the squares too here anyway its final conclusion the sum of these all values is equal to 204 don't forget this value you may get these questions in almost all the competitive exams in a direct way. At that time, easily you can recall what is the value here. It's a world famous chessboard puzzle. So the total number of squares, all the possible squares on a chessboard is simply 204. In our next video, we can consider how to find out the total number of all possible rectangles on a chessboard. Why I'm giving such an idea over here? You just try to expand the same counting concepts for finding or for considering that as a hint to find out the total number of all possible rectangles on a chessboard too. Thank you.